What's up, YouTube? Y'all, the iPhone Geek back again. Coming to show y'all the jailbreak hands on. You know what I'm saying? I got my 3GS with me. I'm going to jailbreak that. It's already jailbroken already, but I'm just going to show y'all how simple it is. It doesn't matter it is, if it's jailbroken or unjailbroken. It's pretty simple. All right? So right now, this is my phone right here. It's the 3GS. I'm going to show y'all. It is actually is the 3GS. Get on my screen. You can see here, you know, we got all of the you know the stuff that you need you have on a 3GS. Um, let me go. Camera is here. You can see video recorder. Let me click OK here. You got the tape. You got the video recorder thing down here. So I'm letting y'all know it's actually a 3GS. All right. It's running on the 3.1.2 firmware right now. All right. Because I did a video earlier, but there was no sound. Duh. So I have to do it over back so y'all can actually see. And hear audio at the same time, all right? So let me go into settings so y'all can see. Go into settings. I'm going to go into general. Go into about, all right? This is my phone right here. See, the, everything is there. That's my phone, the wrong man's iPhone. I should have named it y'all the iPhone geek phone, but, you know, whatever. So right now you can see I'm running on the 3.1.2 firmware. I'm carrier with AT&T. There's nothing on it right now because it's set up as a new phone. But it was already jailbroken. I'm going to show y'all, all right? I got Cydia and IC on my desktop. All right, if I run Cydia, it will do the load, but I, I want to start everything from scratch. So, all right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go over to my PC. I'm running this on my Mac, all right? But it's still the same. Mac or PC, it's the same thing. You just want to go to the site, which is iPhoneFix.de. Download your custom firmware. I always say save it on the desktop, make it much easier. I have mine on my PC over here. You're not going to be able to see the screen as clear, but I'm going to show you all the phone when it's doing everything, all right? So let me head over to my PC real quick so y'all can see. Right now, here's my PC. So you know I'm saying I'm running directly on my PC. Let me load, put this as close as possible so y'all can see. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I have my custom firmware right here. See my this is my file right here. This is my firmware. All right. This is the website. This is the iPhoneFix.de website. Y'all probably can't see it. You know, I'm sorry, but. You know, I can't really get this video any closer than it is right now. So, boom. First thing y'all gonna do, all right? Open up iTunes. iTunes open up. You know, all right? You're gonna go ahead. You're gonna connect your iPhone. It will detect my iPhone. It's start to say it want to sync in and all that stuff. It's all cool, all right? So let us do what it's doing. You can stop the sync if you want. I'm just gonna stop it because I don't want it to sync anything. All right, so now I'm on my phone. Regular screen, everything is good. All right, so what I'm going to do now, remember, I'm an AT&T customer, so I'm using the non-activated firmware. All right, so let me go boom now. It detects my iPhone. I click on here. It will come to my iPhone screen. You all see this little black thing right up here? That's my iPhone, you know. So what we're going to do, remember, people, on Mac, you want to click Option, then Restore. P in PC people, you want to click shift, all right, and then you're going to click restore. It will come up and start a search for your firmware. So what are you going to do? You're going to go to your desktop. You're going to find your firmware. It's going to start to extract the firmware and everything, all right? So right about now, we're going to let it run, do what it's doing. I'm not going to do much. From right here, I'm going to have some, maybe some music running because I'm in my studio right now doing what I'm supposed to do. As you can hear iPhone started now the pawnage tool come up it's in recovery mode that's why you see this guy right here all right so we're just gonna wait for it to do everything it's doing as I can see you can probably see the in the background me see that's me in the background right there I'm pointing out at the same time that's me right there all right cool so we're gonna wait for this to run you're gonna see the pineapple logo that means it detects the firmware it's working it's seeing it it's syncing it's doing all of that in the background on iTunes right now, it's supposed to be at preparing iPhone for restore. So when you see that screen, that means everything is going good. Let it run. It will load up everything it needs. You will see this go off soon, all right? Once it's disappeared, then you will see the Apple logo. And then you will see the, the little aim strip at the bottom. It's like a loading bar. That's doing the restore. All right, so still owned up. See, now this thing started to spin. Now this comes up. When you see this, you know you're good. So what do you want to do? You want to sit back, relax, let I, the Apple does a thing, let iTunes do its thing, 
and you'll be fine. You have nothing to really worry about, all right? So you want to just chill, sit back, enjoy it, listen to some music, go get some popcorn, whatever you do, I don't care, all right? Maybe watch some of my other videos in the meantime. So I'm going to put this down, and I will be right back as soon as this is finished, all right? So take a break. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back again. Right now, it's finished, and it's complete in the last process, all right? So you will see the Apple logo, the pineapple logo, I should say. That's mean that it's complete. It's going to recovery mode, but don't do anything. This is normal. What iTunes is doing is searching for my phone. Once it detects my phone, it will activate it. Remember, I'm an AT&T customer, so I don't need to do anything at this point. So I'm just going to wait for iTunes to detect my phone. And now as it detects it, it's going to go kind of access to the, the store and everything. All right. It's going to tell me to update the settings. That's the carrier settings from AT&T. As you can see, it says activate on my screen. So I do boom, update the carrier file, which is fine. Boom. Right here on the screen, when it's complete, it's going to ask if you want to back up or you want to set up as a new phone. Me, because I have my stuff backed up and I'm actually not on my PC right now, I'm going to do set up as a new phone, and when I go back home, I'll restore it from a backup file I have on my PC. All right? So I go, boom, now I continue. I'm now going to name my iPhone. All right? So let me all on name my phone real quick. This time, I'm going to name it for y'all, all right? I'm going to name it Yachty iPhone Geeks. Yachty iPhone Geeks phone. All right. So now I name it my phone. I don't want to automatically sync because I'm not on my PC. So I click those off. Click done. Uncheck those. Once I cl aim, click this done here, it will start to sync. But I'm going to stop it because it's going to want to sync what's on the PC that I'm using so I can stop it. Canceling contacts. I don't want any of the contacts of whatever I have on here. So now it's done. So I can unplug it now. I'm going to eject it. Oh, that's done. So come out of that. Go to my phone. You can see here, I'm now on the normal screen. And you can see if I scroll over here, you will see Cydia and IC right there. That means it's done. I'm going to load Cydia real quick so y'all can see that I'm not joking. Load it up. Click on that. See, they come up, show me the first thing. If you want to detect Wi-Fi, I don't want that. So close that out. So I'm going to use user, graphical only. All right. See, they will start to do its loading, start to do everything. So it's going to let it run from here. All the people want to do their unlock and all of that stuff. Y'all will know what to do from here. All right. This is the simplest and quickest way you can jailbreak your phone. And complete the rest of the unlock. It's mad quick. It's mad simple mad easy custom firmware boom no black crane crap black crane i don't like it i'm letting y'all know straight up i hate black crane all right so i only roll with the dev team that's it so now everything is done i'm upgrading my essentials i'm gonna go ahead complete do all these fun stuff with my phone y'all do the same thing so once again y'all the iphone geek chilling in the studio show y'all how to jailbreak the 3gs I might come with a video when I can jailbreak the 3G and show you all that too. It's the same thing. Believe me, this process I just did, it's the same thing for all devices except pre-installed 3.1 3GS. You have to follow another extra process, all right? So once again, you are the iPhone geek. See you later. Peace out, all right? Lego.